Don't be nervous. Yeah. Honestly, yeah, it's, it's, we can it's just a... have fun. Okay. We, can okay. Swap we would seats actually love if, if we want. could have. Yeah, we could do musical chairs. Yeah, that'd be fun. I'd like that. <laughs> so, a lot of filming was done in open water rather than the safety of water tanks. So did that make you work harder? Uh, yeah, I yeah. think so. <laughs> We're forced to work harder. Yeah. Um, yeah, because the ocean. I don't know how much, if ever, you've been on the ocean and spent much time on boats and. But the, the ocean is very, very unpredictable, and I think it uh, de it definitely proved, you know, challenging at times. Um, not only physically, but mentally, it was quite it's quite difficult because there's, no, there's no escape. You know, you can't just step off to go and clear your head. You get a cup of tea or anything. No, <laughs> no, no, definitely not. <laughs> I'll, I'll never forget. We had a another boat where a lot of the crew was on that boat during the day, and the camera equipment sat. And about three quarters of the way through shooting, they got an espresso machine. And so they were drinking cappuccinos yeah. and lattes and had espresso. And we had like a container of coffee that like had been made at like flour. 3 a.m. <laughs> uh, yeah, I mean, truthfully, because also the, the, the two of us were on quite a heavy diet for this. So we're starving most of the time. But I think actually shooting out on the ocean, food wasn't kind of distracting us, <laughs> if you know yeah, what I mean. It's lucky because no... we're in Fiji where there's like sweet potatoes and taro and papayas and pineapples and all you want to do is eat fried <laughs> carbs and fruit. And, and we couldn't eat any of it. And cheesecakes. Oh, yeah. <laughs> um, so this really reminded me that acting exposes you to different lives. So what did you get out of seeing through your character's eyes this time? Wow, that's such a good question. I, I'd say the sense of adventure. Um, I'm a dad now, I'm a dad of two, and I find that I spend most of my life saying, no, don't do that, don't do that, don't do that. You can't, don't get too adventurous. And actually, I think I think what was amazing about stepping into Richard's shoes was that he is, well, he doesn't wear shoes. Um, but, <laughs> but actually, it's just that kind of free, um, he, he, you know, he wasn't afraid of spreading his wings. And I, th I think there's that, a part of me has always been a little afraid of that. And I think, um, you know, it, this is sort of proof that Sometimes, you know, it's, it's good to do that. Yeah, that's such a good point. I, maybe the same. I, Tammy is, I feel like I'm a pretty optimistic person, but she's optimistic on a whole <laughs> other level. And it reminded me to be more grateful in a way, if that makes any sense. Grateful for every moment. I mean, this woman has experienced some of the hardest things that one can experience in life. I think, And I think as, as a byproduct of those events, she really has an awareness and a mindfulness that every single moment is a gift. The fact that we're alive, we're winning already. And um, and she doesn't really let small things bother her. Yeah. And, and, and that was a giant takeaway for me, something that I still think about every day. Mm -hmm.